check out all my books on audible.com. Hey folks, Dr. Bob, I wanted to talk to you today about the most effective form of magnesium for the brain. That is called magnesium, magnesium L-threonate. So the L-threonate is an amino acid. You always need that, something, you know, to get it into the body, get it into the brain, magnesium L-threonate, the most effective way to get magnesium into your brain. So you've seen everybody with Alzheimer's, um, they have, when they've been autopsied, you see uh, they have absolutely no magnesium in the brain, nothing. And then you look at a smart monkey and a stupid monkey. Well, the smart monkey is full of magnesium. The stupid monkey has no magnesium at all in the brain. So uh, there's been a lot of clinical studies done with this. It helps with sleeping through the night. It helps with anxiety. Uh, I've been taking it for probably 10 years now. And uh, it's the kind of magnesium you really don't notice anything immediately like, wow, that really helps a lot. I have had some people actually with some serious uh, psychiatric issues, um, schizophrenia for one, and he swears by this. He says, wow, I feel so great when I take the mag team, magnesium l I, I guess, as I said, I've been selling this for years. It doesn't, you mix it into water just like that. It doesn't have any taste. Uh, it mixes right in and, uh, you know, so it's compl the glass is completely clear afterwards. Um, you can take up to around six grams a day. Okay, that's about one and a half teaspoons. You want to spread that out through the day. Don't take it all at once. And uh, I take about half a teaspoon, two grams. That's a small amount. It's about a half a teaspoon, not even that, uh, in the morning. And then I do the same thing at night. But I want to feed that brain full of magnesium. The other type of magnesium I sell is magnesium, a liquid angstrom magnesium. So you take about a teaspoon or a capful, okay, and you put it under your tongue and it just goes, uh, hold it as long as possible. It goes right into your blood stream through the sublingual duct under your tongue. This should be in every house. It is the most valuable mineral that we can possibly take because this is your heart mineral. So if you have a heart attack, you go to the hospital, the first thing they do is put you on a magnesium drip. Everybody knows this um, in the medical world because they know the value of magnesium. Every time your heart's beating, it click, 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 click. That's magnesium burning. So you're losing that all the time. You see these young people, they, uh, they, they have a heart attack at uh, you know, late 20s, 30s. You know, we know what happens, something like that. Well, they, lot, many of them, and not all, uh, they just don't have any magnesium. You know, and your heart will not function, period. If you run out of magnesium, you live on a junk food diet, you live on, you know, what I call a box diet where you buy everything out of a box or a jar or a can in the stores, that's your box store. You're not going to get these basic minerals. So you need to be supplementing with them. You know, I have a, a, uh, an electrolyte um, blend that I have both for liquid angstrom form and I do it in powder, I do it in capsules. That's a great thing to take every single day. It's basically what you have in Gatorade, except Gatorade has all sorts of chemicals in it. It has a lot of dye in it, red dye, you know, red dye 40, all these chemicals. Just stay away from that stuff. It's just garbage. A friend of mine, his one of his pets, got overheated outside and I told him uh, to take some, some electrolytes uh, that he had and um, that dog was dying right there on the spot and that those along with the water he was feeding him and the electrolytes that dog came back it took a couple hours but uh, it was on its way out until he did that i take magnesium as i said every single day it is clinically studied um, it creates uh, more synapses in the brain and therefore more synaptic activity and that's what it's all about i mean the reason you can't think um, a lot of times you don't have the you know your brain's tired uh, you've been studying all day, 80%, 85% of our energy is used by the brain. And so um, you're studying all this, you're kind of depleting um, a lot of the materials that the brain needs, the cholines and the acids, um, and, but you have no more synaptic activity. So this really increases this extremely well. And again, clinically studied, this is, these are not just, you know, this is probably what's going to happen. It's the only type of magnesium that is clinically studied in this way. Magtine, magnesium l Again, I take it every day, first thing in the morning, last thing at night. I like to take my Nutritonic Ultra. That's got cholines in it. It's also got some amino acids in it, theanine, carnitine, uh, tyrosine. So these are what, again, feeding the brain all day long feeding the brain in the morning and then right before I go to bed, I do the same thing. But um, it's very important, this is your command center. So you gotta keep it thinking. You know, you look at people with Alzheimer's and dementia, it is brain toxicity. 
brain chemical, which brain toxicity, toxicity, you know, your brain is like a sponge; it hangs on to all this stuff. Brain toxicity. Well, that's um, you know, uh, it stops everything from working, and it's so incredibly difficult to try to detox the brain. Um, so that's a that's a tough one. Once you've got the toxins in there, the metals, and uh, well, who knows what else, the hydrocarbons you've been breathing in, right into your nose, and all this stuff is all these chemicals. You fill up your car with gasoline. You're breathing in benzene, trihalomethanes, all sorts of things. And it's going directly into your nose, right into your bloodstream, and right into your brain. So stay away from those things as best you can, but uh, keep that brain clean. Uh, follow my detox protocol for that. But magteen, magnesium althranate, by far the best type of magnesium that's out there, especially for the brain. Dr. Bob, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share my video, helps me in the algorithms. I'm trying to build my channel back up after the disaster from a couple years ago. I really appreciate it.